Welcome to Ballyhays College. My name is Kevin O'Connell. I'm a forestry development officer here with, with Chagask. Uh, I'm based in the advisory office here in Ballyhays. And today I'm going to demonstrate how we plant hedgerows. This hedgerow here has one grown season behind it. And the reason we planted this hedgerow was to demarcate our boundary here. Uh, it also has other functions, of course, like uh, connectivity between woodlands and hedgerows. It also has the role of biodiversity, which is very important. But now more and more into the future of carbon sequestration as the hedge grows up. There are a number of species planted in this hedgerow. Here, for example, we have some gilder rose. The main species here is hawthorn, of course. And here we have some cherry, which we let grow on to be a tree. And here is an unusual one, which is a spindle. And spindle is very easy to identify this time of the year if you see the fruiting bodies, that uh, pink and orange. The best time to plant your hedge is between December and mid-March. After mid-March, what tends to happen is the buds begin to develop on the hawthorn and they flush early. Normally what we do is we plant the hawthorn by split planting and we plant the other species then pit planting. It gives them a better start. Now prior to planting, we put down a, a line with twine and we use that line to demarcate our straight line where we're going to put our trees. Normally we would use some builder's lime, a little bit, not too much, and on that line then we plant our trees 30 centimetres apart. We then come along afterwards and plant the second line, again 30 centimetres apart, but this time, as you can see, staggered. Weed control is very important when establishing your hedgerow and in order to reduce the amount of maintenance what we do is we cut the hawthorn about 10 centimetres or 4 inches roughly uh, above ground level. That has two functions for us. The primary function is to allow us to put this polythene down over the thorn taking care not to break off any weed buds and then where we have alternative species like this bit of holly we take a slit in from the side and cover it all with this quarry dust. But cutting the hawthorn at about 10 centimetres above ground is very important because at that stage what we're trying to do is encourage this multi-stem growth. So in order as the hedge develops, um, it thickens up. This year we'll come and cut the thorn around this height and from there on in you will get multi-leaders coming on. And we'll do that successfully for a number of years until we're quite happy with the thickness of that thorn. We will then leave our other species untouched as such, but at that year four, possibly year five, we'll take a look at them and manage as we need to. Now, after going to the trouble of establishing your hedge, you have to protect it. And there's two things really you protect it against. And one is wildlife, i.e. hares. Now hares will do damage but it may be beneficial Well, they clip the young hawthorn and it's saving you a job. But importantly is livestock. And here we can see we have a, a, a sheep fence up and people might say, look at the distance back from the hedgerow. Well, that is important going forward with the management of this hedge. You need to be able to get in to cut it and to press the side of the hedge. But also too, you're creating another area of biodiversity here where natural plants can grow between the hedge and the fence line. So it's important that you take that into consideration when you're planting. So that's a good overview of how to establish a hedge. It's a straightforward enough process. We've planted many hedgerows here using this system and it's worked quite effectively for us. So get out and plant hedgerows. <laughs>